Magicians, and welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. My name is Christopher Witecki. And pardon my late tardiness this week. I had a little bit of a stomach issue. I got attacked by a cheeseburger. Not kidding. Before we dive into your horoscope, I do want to make an announcement. Lightcast Boot Camp is coming up. This is a six-week course that I train over a live webcam to as many students that want to log in. We have live chat. We have TAs, teacher assistants, the whole thing. And from zero week to the sixth week, we teach you how to manifest reality. It is a formula that if you follow, it will work. We have students in our last class that lightcasted what they were intending to lightcast by the end of the class. Some are still working on it. Uh, it depends on how ready you are to do the spiritual work, to be honest with you. But if you're ready to manifest your reality, at least come check out the website, lightcastbootcamp.com. All right, Pisces. Well, this month, we are working on the 12th state of awareness, which is your psychic sense in your soul. That's right. We are composed of 12 states of awareness, not 12 signs. And each month, we work on one of the states. We kind of clear it out and get it working and expand its awareness. The Pisces are working on their psychic sense, which is your natural born sense, your natural born talent. Pisces live in the psychic state of awareness. So clearing out yours is a way of increasing your overall power right before your birthday. Now, as we began on Monday, although I wasn't here, let's review a little bit, uh, the sun was at 24 degrees, Venus was ruling the day, and really it was a day of finding inner peace. Monday was about finding inner peace. The moon in Scorpio had your motions being very uh, philosophical. You were learning. Uh, on Tuesday, after finding your peace, Neptune ruled the day that was your home planet. And so on Tuesday, Valentine's Day, you should have felt pretty good. Your emotions were a little spacey, but you were logging into your higher self and hopefully receiving a lot of good information. Hopefully you paid attention to those weird conversations. A lot of bird, you know, our little bird that speaks to us comes in on Neptune Day, and that is your, of course, home planet. That brings us up to Wednesday, our new air date this week. Uh, actually, the most, the first important day of the week. On Wednesday, Saturn rules the day, which means it's time to make a decision. And in chapter three, your, your decision is a commitment. Now, all month long, Pisces, you've been working on probably clearing weeds out of your soul garden. Weeds are issues that keep us confused, that make us doubt ourselves, that go back to childhood, that circling energy in our subconscious. Those circling energies block your psychic sense because you feel the circulation and you second guess the accurate information. So when we clear this stuff out, we face the boogeyman, we face our fears, we clear out the static, and then we can have faith in our psychic senses. On Wednesday, it's time to decide and commit to where you're going to clear out, where you're going to make faith in yourself, what you're going to do for yourself to have faith in yourself. It may mean you have to face alcoholism or you have to face uh, something from your child that was painful. It may just mean that you have to meditate and quit being so damn lazy. But whatever it is on Wednesday, it's time to decide. Now, the moon will be still uh, moving into, excuse me, moving into Sagittarius that day, not still. So your emotions will shift actually on decision day uh, more towards career. Where do I belong in my world of career and legacy. So you might have career or worry issues that play into the overall weed. Be advised, it's not about the career. It's about uh, you deciding to face a part of yourself and build that faith. Also note, this little trine going from the sun over to Saturn and Libra, which means to have faith in yourself, you most likely will have to change some boundaries right? Either let someone in or not let someone in or pull the boundary not to uh, not to drink or pull the boundary, you know, whatever. Boundaries come into play, says Saturn, obviously. Uh, also, for those who are watched over by me personally in the Guardian Agency, I'll send you a personal with text, Pisces, so to help you remember how it is your soul makes decisions as opposed to other Pisces in general. Going back to your natal information that you provided when you signed up for GA. So I'll send out the with text to help you at the right time. On Thursday, it's action time. Mars will rule the day. 
And if you took boot camp before, you know how this works. After we make a decision and a commitment, we must act on it. We must put our decision into action. So on Thursday, I'll be encouraging you through GA and otherwise to step act out. If you decided to stop doing something, stop on Thursday, okay? If you decided to start doing something like exercising or meditating, start on Thursday. The good thing is, is the Martian energy will give you the strength to get off the couch. So if you're feeling lazy or kind of blah, 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 you won't have that excuse. Mars will give it to you. And there might be a little aggression too. The moon will still be in Sag, so a lot of this might be playing out for you emotionally at work. Then on Friday, on Friday it's time to manifest your reality. There'll be no ruling planet. The sun will be in pure form. And at the same time, the moon crosses Pluto. Now when the moon crosses Pluto, this is an interesting thing because it is, an, it is an invitation to release. So your emotions might have some sort of hang up in society. All right. So maybe you're trying to face, okay, let's say alcoholism. I don't know why it keeps coming up. Maybe one of you is facing that. So I'll just keep going with this theme. Let's say you're going to stop drinking. Let's say you're going to cut off. Maybe you're worried, emotionally worried about your perception of yourself in society. Oh, what will they think if someone calls me an alcoholic? Well, the cool thing is on Friday, you can let go of that. Who cares? Release the emotion. That's what Pluto's going to help you with. It's certainly a fear or worry about how you are going to look in the world or how it's going to affect your world power. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you have faith in yourself. That's what the transit is about. So on Friday, you got to hold space. Also on Friday, if you want to come laugh and hang out with us, Carolyn Nagel and myself are doing SG Live. This is our prime time. We're moving this to our prime time. 11 a.m. is prime time in Soul Garden on Pacific Coast. That goes all the way to 7 over in Europe. So be sure to log in. We have a great time. It's a webcam radio show and you've never seen this side of me. Trust me. Then on Saturday, really Saturday is the apex, not just of the transit, also of the week. It really is a turning point for everyone on the planet. It's because we reached the 29th degree. The 29th degree is the final and tested degree in a transit. Why is it tested? Well, because the universe is saying, hey, Pisces, can you put your emotions behind all this light casting you've been doing this month? Can you put your feelings behind this? So what happens on the 20th degree is our emotions show up and suddenly it either feels right or doesn't feel right or uh-oh, we've got to hold it together. So you are tested. Also notice how the 29th is trining perfectly to the 29th with Saturn. So this Saturn Sun thing, in other words, if there's ever a day you're going to have to uphold boundaries, it will likely be on Saturn Day <laughs> when Saturn is trining exactly at 29 degrees and you're getting emotionally tested on this whole faith issue. Now Mercury has already zoomed over into your sign Pisces, so your mind is already at home in your home state of Pisces state of awareness. Your mind and your thoughts actually can guide you if you let them guide you, all right, especially on that emotional day. And the moon will still be in Capricorn, so emotionally you're also still kind of concerned about what the world thinks, that sort of thing. You'll have to battle that as well. Sunday, oh wait, one more thing. On Saturday, for people in GA, I'll send you another with text uh, on Saturday, excuse me, a personal with text. This one to help you release, like how do you let go of your control issues? Going back to your natal chart, I will pull, pull it up and write something uh, based on what it takes to let go and let, and let it flow, really, on Saturday. Okay, then Sunday, 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 Sunday! I remember those commercials when I was a kid. Sunday is a weird flat day, it is not a, it's gonna be zero degrees, zero degrees Pisces. Yes, we are moving into your birthday period, so I think you'll start to sort of thaw out on Sunday. Um, and you're starting to come into consciousness. The moon, though, goes underground into the subconscious. So after your emotions worried about the public, now they go and worry about all this faith issue. So although this weekend is a transition into your birthday period and you will feel much stronger by Monday, Tuesday, emotionally, you're gonna, it's going to take maybe three days to kind of follow through with that inner faith trigger, follow through with all these faith issues that you set in motion. And you want to keep them in motion. We've got lots of good reasons to be strong this year, Pisces, with Neptune in your sign. All right, my little fishies, that's all I have for this week. But I will be back in seven days if I just avoid fast food. <laughs> and until then, live, love, be.